hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl erica today i'm going to be doing a shoe review well actually two shoe reviews um so i got two pairs of shoes one from nordstrom one from off Saks fifth i think that's how you say it and the first shoe that I got from Nordstrom was these Tory Birch slides. So these slides, I'm just going to give you the deets on these slides. See? These are called the Tory Birch Patos, Patos Platform Slide Sando. Um, the original price was 248 and I paid 198.40 they were 20% off like a few weeks ago so they are in a size 9 and I purchased them in a the color black This is how the shoe looks. It's a really cute summer shoe. They did say that this is one of their most comfortable shoes. I think it's pretty comfortable. The only thing I would say is if you have wide feet like me, um, this part here kind of we'll dig into your foot a little bit the inner one mostly i did notice that on one of my feet that um one is wider than the other so that's why that part was digging into my foot um i think they fit like a size nine but i think it's more of a medium a medium footbed like I said, I'm a wide foot, so I do prefer wide, but I don't typically buy my shoes in wide. I typically buy them in medium and just go up a size. This is my true size. Um, I did consider buying a nine and a half, but I was like, I'm going to keep it. You know, it is stretch. It is that kind of stretchy leather right here. So I feel like it will stretch and I'm going to be fine. So I'm just going to wear these in the summer like these are like a real classic type of shoe um the leather does seem like really good quality leather it comes with a dust bag i want to call it or a shoe bag whatever you call it but i believe it's a dust bag really cute you can put your shoes in this save yourself some room um they come in brown as well and i think a cream color so if they don't have it on nordstrom you can definitely you should be able to definitely pick it up at toybirch.com again i got mine from nordstrom my mama she got a nordstrom card y'all so i just gave her a little bit of bread a little bit i ain't give her no 200 dollars and she got them for me um so she gave her little perks and all that but they do come in brown i also wanted them in brown but i was like I don't know what I would wear with them in brown. I typically buy every shoe in black. So I was like, let me just get black. Because I was really going to get the brown ones. But again, they... But again, they cost $2.48. That's the original price of them. I have not worn them yet. I just tried them around in the house. Trying to see if I can break them in. But... I'm sure they're gonna look super cute with some white toes. That's gonna be a summer staple. So the next shoe I got, this was from um, Saks or Fifth. And I really want some, wanted some knit shoes, like the knit sneakers, like the Balenciagas. And I just be hesitant to buy them. Cause I'd be like, I'm about to spend that much on shoes. And I'd be thinking like, dang, I don't really know my size. But then I have to go find an actual, actual Balenciaga um, store. 
Now, I still definitely might get them back on the say I'm not. But in the meantime, I got these Valentino ones that I thought were really cute. Alright, so the Valentino knit sneaker I'm talking about, they are called... Um, they're actually Valentino by Mario Valentino. They are the Melissa Space Sock sneakers. They cost $249.99 and I purchased them in a size 9.5, which is what I typically purchase. Most things are not 9.5, um, especially if it's narrow. Um, I did mention earlier that I did get the Toy Virgin a 9, so I usually get a 9 or a 9.5. I just want to say that. Here's the box. These also come with a little dust bag. It comes with the stock card and um, how to care for the shoes in here. This is how they look. So it's all knit. It stretches a lot here. It has this thick rubber sole. Like the design is, you know, quite similar to other um, knit sneakers or sock sneakers. It has this leather above the heel here, and it says Valentino on the back here. I did try them on, and they fit really well. I'm trying to determine whether or not I wear these with socks or not. I really don't know. Um, I don't like wearing sneakers without socks, so I'm just trying to figure out what socks I would wear if I'm wearing socks. Um, but yeah, that's my only dilemma. So far, they're super comfy. They are on a bit narrow side, but because they are knit here, I'm more than sure that they're going to break in and stretch a little bit more and you know, like form your foot, you know, better. So the next size up was a 10. I was like. I don't ever buy shoes in the tent. Like I don't want to have no big old shoes that just are too much space because that's just not a size that I buy. Um, unless it was like a pointed toe. I think I have like a heel pointed toe that's a 10 and that's my only size 10. But um, a nine and a half definitely will suffice. Um, I do have a lot of room here. It's just that the, as far as the, the width, they're a narrow, they're a narrow shoe. This is how they look, super cute. They do have some Valentino pairs that have Valentino up here, but I think they pretty much sold out of those. Those are my first pick, but they were gone. And you might be able to find them on Farfetch if you don't see them on Saks or Fifth. Um, but they're a really good deal. So you're looking at these shoes at $250 basically compared to if you buy women's size Balenciaga's, you're looking at $800, $850. So it's definitely a steal. I would say get them. They are well constructed and really nice. And the price is good. So and also Saks off Fifth, they have um, Klarna. As well you can pay that way as well if you like to so that's all for these reviews um i do have an alternative shoe that i like for the sock sneakers the other ones you could get are um right now the moschino i've seen them on farfetch they are really cute they have neon colors and i think they are about 280 as well super super cute i feel like everyone is now making a dupe for the Balenciagas because Balenciagas, believe it or not, sell out so much. Like that shoe is like every, very popular every year. Um, in the summer, there are people wear that shoe every year. It's almost like every year they just release it, restock it, and it still sells out. So it's been a minute, but it's been a long time since they first released those and they always sell out still. So 
I think that other brands are realizing that too and they get on the bandwagon and they got their sock sneakers as well. Um, as far as a lower, lower end, you can get um, the Steve Madden ones, which I think are super, super, super cute. They make some really, really cute colors. Um, check those out as well. I think those are either 100 or 80 or 100, I think those cost. Um, but I also have some other things from Saks or Fifth, and I never shop there. Like, I happen to go to the outlet. Um, like the physical store the outlet and then um, I happen to look online and see what they have and they have some really really good stuff it's really equivalent to like shopping on Nordstrom Rack like you could find some gems there don't count them out if you shop there you plan to shop there if you have these or you have some other alternatives or your summer favorites um, that you're interested right now definitely like and comment down below don't forget to subscribe Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.